Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we'll continue the framework, Selenium Python framework, and we will refactor our page object class, right? So this is the launch page class and search results, search flight results page class that we have created. And this is not optimized at all, as I have mentioned previously as well, that we'll be optimizing this and making it the way it should be in your actual project. So if you see here, we are hard coding these locators here and then we are uh, providing a lot of details within these depart from and then using these depart from going to methods in our test cases right so is there a better approach or can we refactor these pages to make them more maintainable right so obviously there is and what we are going to do is we are going to first thing externalize these locators we do not want these locators all over the places in our pages right so if you see all these locators are in the whole file there right so we'll first thing we'll do is we'll simply remove them right so we'll make them at the top so we'll simply put them at the locator so i'll put the locators i'll comment it and then this field is my text field right so this is depart from so i'll simply say depart from field so field is just to make sure that this is the field or if it is a link tech link then you specify underscore link or if it is a button we'll say underscore button so that you can easily identify that right and now we can simply copy and paste this locator here all right now the next bit is as in the page object model we have understood about is that we have to have all the locators their corresponding actions in the same page class right so we have the fields now and the actions that we can perform on these fields so what we'll do is the first thing is we'll define the method to get these locators right so we'll simply say uh, we'll define a method i'll say get depart location right and in this particular method what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to return this particular locator right so i'll simply say return and this will return this particular locator and instead of this hard coding the locator here i'll simply replace that with this depart from field right and because this is the class variable so we have to basically use self dot depart from field in order to access this particular class variable which is the locators that we have defined right so now what this method will do is it will give me the depart location right so it will um, give me the depart let me change it to depart from field right so let's say depart from field so it's more obvious and clear so it will give me the locator for this depart from field now what can i do on that particular field i can send the keys or i can click i can type in some values there right and that's what i'm doing as part of these three statements here right so i can create another method to perform the actions on that field right so the first thing is to externalize the locator which we have done right so now i do not have anything hard coded in my method to get that particular field the second method i have created is to get that field based on the locator that you will pass here once you get the field or the driver is able to identify the field the next option is to either click on the field because it's a it's a text field so you can click on it you can type the text there and you can send keys that you know the the keyboard keys right so i can define another another method to perform the operations on that particular field right so that's what we discussed as page object model so we are trying to make this page much better and in compliant with the page object design pattern that usually we need to follow right so we'll simply say as part of this method we'll say enter depart from location right so this is the method name and in this depart from location what we need to provide we need to provide an uh, parameter basically depart from location right so we'll simply say depart location right because if somebody is calling this particular method i want to make sure that they pass the depart location before they call this particular method and now in this particular method what i'll do is i'll simply say self dot now in I'll simply say get depart from field because this method will now give me the field which is dep depart from field and now I can simply say dot click right so I can click on this field which is equivalent to what we are doing here right similarly I can simply say depart from field and then send the keys right so I can simply say dot send 
underscore keys, you won't get auto suggestions in this particular case because we have wrapped the methods now. So you have to make sure when you use the send keys, it is as per the Selenium web driver format, right? So whether you are using click or send keys, it has to be exactly same format, right? So and now in the send keys, I want to pass the depart location. And then similarly, I want to send keys and I want to send the keys keys dot enter, which is basically the keyboard keys dot enter. Okay. And now I do not need this particular method at all. Okay. So now there is no hard coding. First thing what we have done is we have removed this X path for the depart from field at the top in the page, right? So now say for example, tomorrow something changes in this particular X path. I do not have to come back to any of this method, right? We have in the method, we are getting the depart from field and in the entering depart from location, we do not have any hard coded values there, right? So that's the whole advantage of this particular exercise. And this thing can be removed. And now you can see that it looks much simpler when we are saying enter depart from location and getting depart from field. So basically get depart from field and then click on it, get depart from field, send keys, get depart from field and send keys, keys dot enter. So this looks more readable and more maintainable, right? Now in the test case, instead of, so we had this previous method, right? So we had, let me uncomment that. So we had this depart from method, right? Now we have commented it. So we'll simply comment this here as well. And instead of LP dot depart from, we'll simply say LP dot enter depart from location, right? And we'll simply pass the location that we were using previously. All right. And we do not need this depart from field anymore. And now my page class looks much cleaner. Okay. Let me run this particular test case with just this field at the moment with just this depart from field and then I'll refactor all of the code in this particular file and I'll show you later. Okay, so let's go to the pie test. Let's clear the screen and run the test case. So the test case should run exactly the same way. There is no change. I'm just refactoring the code to make it more maintainable and readable. So you'll see it has identified depart from field, all of the fields, and it is working as expected at, as it was working previously in the previous execution. Uh, so it is uh, scrolling down, then it will filter based on the stops. So it has filtered and it will start the verification and then log the results, right? So you'll see that it has executed exactly the same way it has failed in the verification, which is expected. And now we have refactored one of the field on the page right so the, the only field that we have refactored is depart from field at the moment okay now let's go quickly go ahead and i'll refactor all the rest so going to location so what i'll do is i'll simply change it to going to field and paste this particular locator in the going to right then we have this field which is selecting the date right so we'll copy that this is also a field so i'll append that the field then we have this all dates right so this is basically the results the all dates calendar that gets returned so that's the x path for that and i'll move it here so all dates and then we have the search button right so we'll copy that okay so now i have created the list of locators that i'm using in this particular test case now this is just for this particular test case now when you you are writing your test case you might be having a lot more locators so you put all those locators in the same format you keep extending that and now for each of these field right so for depart from we have used the depart get depart from field method and then enter depart from location so i'll do the same thing for going to field select date field and all other fields and then i'll show you the code okay so let me quickly convert all other fields in the same format and then we'll get started with the next step so all right guys so i have updated the whole file right so now all the locators if you see are at the top right so there is no locator that is hard coded in any of the code now for each of these locators for the fields you will see that there is a method to get those fields right so to get the locators basically for those web elements so get depart from field get going to field get going to results accordingly departure date field all dates so whatever locators are there there i have created a method to return the locator for those okay and here in the method you will see that i have used the locator type 
and then there is no hard coding now it is taking the locator from select date field so basically the variable that we have defined select date field so this is the locator for that so what is the advantage the advantage is now tomorrow if in your application something changes or the locator changes for this particular field you just come here and update this and you do not have to update anywhere else in your code here right so after this get methods that we have defined here we are having this what actions we are going to perform on those web elements right so in the depart from location we are going to enter the details or we are going to click so that's all whatever is required as part of the test we are doing that as part of the enter depart from location right so all of this is now available here so we are first getting the depart from field then we are clicking on it we are sending keys we are you know sending the keyboard keys then going to location we are clicking then we are sending keys then we are getting the results right so we are basically going to uh, getting the going to results and storing it in the variable search results right because once we type in the going to so if we go to the website so as soon as if so for example i type in new york you will see that it shows me the this list right so this list i am storing in the variable search results and then iterating over this list and if the result is matches to the going to location that i'll pass when I'm, i'll be calling this particular method then it will go ahead and click on that particular result and break out of the loop right similarly entering the departure date simple loops so all of this is now much much simplified in this particular method right clicking on the search flight buttons i am getting the search button first the locator for that and then clicking on it right so now it is very very simple to understand and the hard coding of the locators has been removed from the file it is at the top which is very very easily maintainable right so this is one of the page similarly you have to approach your other pages as well right so for example search flight results page we have to do the similar activity so in the next tutorial i'll complete this activity and then we'll move further okay so now you can see this is much better approach and this will bring you lots of benefit it takes time but it will bring you a lot of benefit when we say we are developing the framework it requires time but over the period of time you will see why you need to do all this approach so that you, it is easily maintainable and easy for teams to understand right so now we can just get rid of all this old code and our new code is there in place right this is the better file that we have now in the test case we do not need any of the old methods right because we have replaced these methods with the with the new one right so we with the with these new methods that we have written right so this is more of a better we have done a refactoring so we have refactored the name and everything and the methods so we'll just replace so we have replaced the new method here right similarly for going to we have removed the old one and i've already commented the old ones you can see that right so i'll remove all of those and then for clicking on the search the old method was click, click search i've removed that and the new one is click search flights so now you can see it's just you know four lines here it's similar to the old one but the key thing here is the refactoring of this code and then in the test case we are just passing the depart from going to departure date and click search flights now we'll in the next tutorial we'll discuss a more better approach to minimize the code in this particular test case or in further test case as well all right but as of now this is what the code refactoring will look like and how you have to basically approach so that you do not have to go in the code and change any of these locators or details all right so let's go ahead and run it and see if everything is working fine all right so i'll say clear the screen and run the test case so it should run exactly the same way as it used to run because we are just refactoring we are not changing any of the behavior of this particular code so it is selecting depart going to departure date searching the flights it's on the next page now scrolling to the bottom it's at end of the page and it should select the filter now and start the verification for the filtered result and it has finished right so as expected it will fail because it has failed the verification of the stops in the fields right so that's pretty much it about the code refactoring so we have refactored one of the page now imagine if you have you know like 5 50 pages in your application you can imagine how much amount of effort goes into the framework development right but once your framework is 
there in place it becomes so easy to maintain the overall test cases you will see all the benefits by end of this series all right so i will do the refactoring of this particular page and then we'll understand how we can reduce more code by refactoring the test case details as well okay so that's all for this tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching